God sent the Holy Spirit, and good gracious God, we ask you to be with us, guide us today as we begin to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Help us walk in the way, the truth, and the life of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Mount Carmel. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace, for through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty, because I seek your precepts. Mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. (laughs) 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern, discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. And the Lord said to him, O you Pharisee, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil, you fools. Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. We kneel now for our novena in honor of St. Anthony and St. Jude. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who have taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to desire what is right, and always to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for mercy. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, may God grant us his mercy and not only cleanse us from all our sins, but deliver us also from the punishments which we have deserved. We pray to the Lord. For those in need, through the intercession of St. Anthony, may God help those in trouble, the sick in mind and body, the poor and the lonely and all who seek out his help. We pray to the Lord. For love of God. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, may our love for God always remain unchanged in the face of every temptation to evil. We pray to the Lord. For love of one another, through the intercession of St. Anthony, may our Christian love for one another manifest itself in the world today. We pray to the Lord. For peace, through the intercession of St. Anthony, may God grant us peace, which the world cannot give that our hearts may be disposed to obey his commandments, and the fear of our enemies having been removed, our times by his protection may be peaceful. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty and eternal God, who glorified your faithful confessor and doctor, St. Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession. We make this our prayer through Christ our Lord. O holy Saint Anthony, gentlest of saints, your love for God and charity for his creatures made you worthy when you were on earth to possess miraculous powers. Miracles waited on your word, which were ever ready to speak for those in trouble or anxiety. Encouraged by this thought, I implore of you to obtain for me this request. The answer to my prayer may require a miracle, even so you are the saint of miracles. O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper my petition into the ears of the sweet infant Jesus, who loved to be folded in your arms. The gratitude of my heart will ever be yours. Amen. I know we prayer to Saint Jude. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, you have the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies, which has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is most despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolations and the help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly.
and that I may bless God with you and all the saints forever. I promise you, St. Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, of all creation, and of your goodness, who has spread to all, which earth has given you the hands of May, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God, for all the age and the pure goodness we have spine to offer. Through the divine work of human hands, we become our spiritual Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and then when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as together we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Joseph Sheltry, whom you have called from this world unto yourself. Grant that he who is united with your, with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, especially for the good health for all health care workers. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Carmel, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <coughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We recite now a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. We entreat your, maj your, your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us share in his divine life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.